we are continuing our playthrough of the Princes of the Apocalypse. Now, it's been a little while since we played last, so we're going to uh, to recap a little bit and kind of set the scene for um, for where we are picking up today. Um, the party has been exploring the Deseran Valley, investigating various cult activities in the area. Um, just odd goings on and most of these things that that they had went into they just kind of stumbled into them accidentally but then after they they began to happen more and more frequently um the party started to set out with a purpose they were hired by the zentarum to investigate the missing uh mirror board delegation and it was during this investigation that that they started finding out um that there were actually several cults operating within the area. And apparently, as they became more aware of the cults, the cults became aware of them as well and sent assassins to try and kill our party. Um, first, they were sent along a fake mission to help a, a small farm where they were trapped in, and the uh, cult of the um, Black Earth tried to kill them with an elemental and then a, the Cult of Eternal Flame tried to burn down the inn they were sleeping in. Uh, and it was after that happened, the party decided to be more proactive and to hunt down the, the, the cults. And after receiving a tip on where the Eternal Flame was, they went out to the Scarlet Moon Hall to investigate. Um, after searching around the outside of Scarlet Moon Hall... They started their assault against the Cult of Eternal Flame, and that is when things took a turn for the worse. Because, as the name would suggest, the Cult of the Eternal Flame, they are pretty adept with using fire magic. And after they bombarded the party with fireballs, uh, our party was lost. Uh, everyone was unconscious. We even had somebody that died. And, and that was where we ended the last session. Uh, uh, on tragedy and so we are starting today and all of you are just kind of coming to now right um you had lost consciousness and then you uh find yourselves in a small room it is roughly 25 by 25 feet uh stone walls and wooden floor you are all bound to to uh bound by ropes and shackled to the the walls and in front of you you can see that uh there are broken shards uh uh, uh and and pieces of clothing that have been ripped to shreds and, and as you kind of blink your eyes and look at, at these items you realize what they are it's your weapons your your equipment uh, anything magical or purposeful, your arcane focuses, your holy objects, all of them have been taken by the cult, shattered and strewn about. Um, there is one person who is not currently bound and shackled, and that is Emma. Um, she is laying on the floor over here, and um, she looks to be in terrible shape, but she is breathing. But she is unconscious. And as you look around the room, you see two people that you've never met before. There is a man in a red robe, smoking a pipe, sitting at the desk. And uh, you can see that, that he, um, on the, the robe that he wears, bears the emblem of the eternal flame. And shackled up with the group, another stranger, um, you can see a drow man, you know, hunched over, badly beaten and injured, same as all of you, but you don't know who this is. Is it dark down here? Yes, it is dark down here. Um, and let me actually fix that, because I really didn't want it to be dark down here. Oh no, that's not what I wanted at all. Oh 
Okay, so there we go. Now you should be able to see, right? Yeah. And we'll put that over here on the candle. All right. So as you guys are kind of, uh, you know, you're starting to wake up from from your uh, from from being uh, badly injured. The man sitting at the desk notices that you begin to stir, and he turns around and walks to the center of the room. And he looks to his left and looks to his right and then uh, he, he turns to all of you and he's like ah I see we are finally awake he turns to you and he's like I don't think you're in any position to be making demands. Did he tear up my book? Uh, no, but you can see it sitting on the table in front of him. And he did smash the orb. He did smash the orb. So he looks around. And then uh, he, he kind of just speaks to the room. Tell me. Why? Why have you made yourself such a, such a thorn in my side? Since nobody answers him, he walks like over. Imagine we're all gagged. <laughs> no, no, you're not gagged. Nobody, nobody is gagged. You're just uh, restrained, and uh, you could see that that some of you are bound. Um, like you're just kind of like wrapped with ropes around you, like your shoulders and chest. Thank you for the resub too. I love you. Um, but but some of you, particularly Pikmin and Tapio. Uh, not only are they bound around their shoulders, but their arms are bound together as well. Like there's a rope securing their two elbows together, their two wrists together, and then their hands are completely wrapped as well. <laughs> Pikmin goes into a rage. So he's like, I've asked you a question. Okay, well, I have tried to be amicable, and he walks towards Finn. Uh, refresh your page, because when I look through your token, you cannot see everything. Um, he walks up to Finn, and he pulls out a dagger, and he plunges it into Finn's chest. Ah! Oh, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> he uh he looks around the room again and he's like I believe it or not am quite adept in the healing arts. Before I became uh indoctrinated by the flame I actually was a druid and I can stand here and I can kill you and heal you all day heal for eight Finn <coughs> tell me why are why are you so involved in trying to foil my plans and as he says it again, he doesn't even hesitate. He immediately reaches out and stabs Finn a second time. <laughs> hey, he actually survived. <laughs> you ask why? Um, let me see. 
you burn down the uh, Kalesa Inn. You, not you, but one of the Kotas, Kotas, uh captured one of our friends. He stabs you and... again, cuts you off mid sentence. <laughs> 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 well this this is why <laughs> he's like no no I know what we've done all of that was in response to everything that you had done to the other cults I know about what you've done at Riverguard Keep uh, I, I know all about it I, I've been following your progress I want to know why and he takes a step over in front of Pikmin Nice to meet a fan. Uh, I thought you were going to be interesting. All of you foolish cultists. I came here trying to learn something, and every time you meet little knuckleheads like you, tampering with things you have no business in doing and knowing nothing, you broke my orb. It is you who knows nothing, sir. Or do you? Oh, please. He, he, he gets closer and he kind of looks in your face. He's like, do you? Do you know about the one? I know the one that I serve. And that is the wrong entity to stand in the way. So, why have you come to Tir Basil? And he holds the dagger up to your throat. <laughs> I told you. I was curious. It was interesting, but you're all boring. Curious? No. Yes, you lie. You know nothing of Tyr Basil. And he's going to stab at you. <laughs> <laughs> Unconscious. <laughs> and he walks back to the center of the room. He's like, I will get the truth from you. You will not. <laughs> you will not be able to exit here, but before I am finished with you, all of you will sing and tell me all that you know. And he kind of storms out of the room angrily. So he's not in the room, right? No, he walked away. Can I do a... Do I, uh, if I wanted to say, do can I crawl over there? You're remember you're you're fastened to the wall. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're restrained and then shackled to the wall. Are we just shackled by our arms except taking the tap you? Yep. Um, okay. Are, what are the restraints? Are they would we be able to break out of them? Um. Well, everybody's like. Remember, you're bound by rope, and then the rope, and when I say you're shackled to the wall, um, the rope kind of goes through, like, a, a, an iron loop that's been fastened to the wall. Okay. <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> oh, wait, that was that. Could I get out of these shackles if I while champ while shape into something small. Oh, uh, absolutely. Um, because wild shape would, you know, if you turn into something small, you would no longer be, you know, like the ropes are bound al along your medium sized body. So, yeah, that that would work. Um, and wild shape doesn't have a verbal or somatic component, right? It's just. You just, boop, you change. I don't think it... No, yeah, 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 it doesn't. Alright, so what are you going to wild shape into? Like a cat or something. Did I ever set up a rollable token for you? Uh, of course not. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to say, you're totes a kitty cat. Meow. <laughs> And then what? I'll move to uh, Godfrey, and if I can 
uh, bite his like, ox so he can get out. If that's possible. That's like... You want to bite at the ropes so that he can get out. Uh, controlled by. God damn it. And Godfrey Tapio. There you go. Now you're a cat. You're a kitty cat. Yes. Okay, I, I can't see anything. Yeah, the NPC tokens usually don't have sight. There you go. Okay, so you want to try and bite at the ropes as a cat. I don't think that a cat would be able to, to bite and tear through the ropes. I just don't don't see their teeth as being adequate. At least not to do so in any any quick and, and hurried amount of time. Well, I can stop. Grab, uh, grab the candle. Watch. What was that? I couldn't hear you. He was talking over you. Uh, grab the candle. Not you. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I will turn back to Tapio. There you go. See you there. Meow, meow, meow. Okay. Ben is to death. Well, I guess I can now just untie the ropes. Okay, starting with who? Godfrey. Okay. Would we have 10 minutes, maybe? I think. Oh, I don't know. I mean, uh, you're in hostile territory. And I'll go to Big Man and heal him. We don't have our weapons, right? No, they have removed uh, your weapons, your your magical items, and spell casting focuses, and all of that fun stuff. Did you say they were destroyed in the middle of the room, or some of them? There, there's a lot of debris spread out in the middle of the room. Uh, for some air. Okay, and then you guys are going to start setting everybody else free? Yeah. Uh, not that one. Not oh, that yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So everybody but the mysterious drow is free. Are we going to ignore him? The, the drow is conscious, right? Yes. It's clearly Rovin. Just go untie him. Uh, do a perception check, Pikmin. Looking at the strange figure, you do notice he is wearing Rovin's clothes. Yeah. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> you look funny, old man. Anyway, I'm going to rush over and grab my book. Okay. And I'll untie Rovin. Did they do anything to the book? Uh, it no. It, it sits unread. Alright. Well, I'm gonna like crawl on the floor and like try and recover my glass, broken glass shards. Oh, they they are far too uh, innumerable to try and to try and recover. Can I look through the pile of stuff, see my mask? You found it. But it's it's been crushed. It looks like someone stomped on it. Just kind of holds it in his hands and stares at it for a while. Is there anything else still intact in the pile? No. <laughs> so what's in the bookshelf? What are you doing? Initiative, please. <laughs> ah! 
Uh, do you want me to roll it even though I'm unconscious still? Um, yeah, things could change, I guess. So he looks around the room, right? Sees that you all are free. He's like, oh, you are much too clever for your own good. That's okay. I only need one of you alive. I can extract my answers that way. <laughs> huh. Hey, Emma, it's your turn. <laughs> she just lays there bleeding out her head. Uh. Okay. Uh, Finn will move to here and grab it, the candle. <clears throat> okay. And throw it at the the the, the guy. Okay. You throw the candle. Don't even bother with the roll. So you throw the candle, right? And the first thing that happens as it flies through the air is the flame burns out. <laughs> Does it hit the, the guy? Uh, sure. But, I mean, it's it's a candle. It's, I guess, maybe the, uh, the candle holder might do a little bit of damage. <laughs> if it works in Clue, it could work in D&D. &D. Go ahead and, and make an improvised attack. Uh, 1d20 plus 3, you would not be proficient. You're proficient with punches, but that that's a ranged improvised attack. Okay. It doesn't matter. You rolled, a, uh, you rolled a 7. It doesn't. <laughs> Are you finished now? <laughs> uh, and I'll let everything is dark. I'll try to hide. <laughs> 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 Alright, go ahead and try to hide. <laughs> Oh, and you are successful. <laughs> I'm guessing <laughs> since there's like nothing in this room, you just like duck under the desk. <laughs> yeah. Literally hiding underneath the chair. All right, top you. Well, I can't see anything, so I'm going to heal myself. Okay, make sure that um, as you're going through your spells that none of these require material components yeah. because you don't have yeah I'm, I'm talking to the group not just you okay and then if I can cast chill daily as it's my yeah ACL, you're racial yep then I'll use my bonus action to cast that on my hand okay um does shillelagh as part of the text does it make you give off play I don't remember uh, I'm a federation. Uh, weapons damage die becomes uh, becomes magical. Okay, no, it does not. Okay, so Shalili on your arm, and then uh, healed yourself. Folkvar. Uh, 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 ah! Dodge. <laughs> He's panicking. So now he is gonna take his turn, right? And, uh, <laughs> um, he cannot see either. So what he is going to do, uh, is he is going to cast fairy fire out in front of him. Just, just, uh, you know, he just throws out his hands. And throws it out into the room. So that would be 20 feet. Like there. Okay. So if you are in that square, I need a deck save, please. Am I in that square? Uh, yes. Because you, even though you're hidden, you're still in there. <laughs> Uh, is that, uh, I can't see the, the squares. Oh, derp. it's everybody but Emma. Okay, and what is my spell save? So Godfrey and Folkvar failed. 
Um, everybody else managed to pass somehow. Uh, gives off dim light in a 10 foot radius. Ah, oh, people. And we're going to say that it is blue light. They're glowing blue. Okay. Now we'll get rid of the square. <laughs> All right, so that was his action, right? Um, as a bonus action, he's just going to do nothing. He's just going to end his turn. Okay. Uh, Godfrey. Would I still have my oil on me? Nope, they took that too. No, oh, okay, they took that too. Yeah, look okay, in your inventory. Just... It's not there anymore. I think. Alright, uh, no, no, right. I, I won't panic. Yeah, it shouldn't be there. <laughs> Can I, uh. What the hell is this stuff? Get out of here. Okay, I was just making sure it was a bonus action. I'll just use healing word on who's unconscious? Uh Emma. Yeah, uh healing word on. Does it do anything? Uh well it heals her for six. And then uh Emma will regain consciousness. However, Emma, as you awake, you feel drained. Um like incredibly weak uh nauseous and sick a and you are fully aware of what happened you know that you were dead okay. do i have any key points do you have any key points well um your sheet other than the the adjustments i made was unchanged it looks like no because you have none on your sheet so i'm guessing that's where you ended the last session with zero right so um, Being dead isn't a long rest. Nope, no, <laughs> sir. <laughs> and then you saw the other resource I put there, right? Uh, my yep, penalty? yep, yep. What's that do? Uh, it it's just like the effects of the raise dead spell because that's what happened. Um, you have a minus four penalty on all checks, saving throws, and damage. It, and the penalty decreases by one each time you take a long rest. That's, you know, assuming you survived today. <laughs> okay. So, Emma, weak, sick, just wakes up, and you see this. How do you think Emma would respond? And as she wakes up, I'm going for a tackle. How do I... Uh try to wrestle him to the ground or something uh well a grapple is your strength contested by his just raw strength right yep yeah, yeah he he just kind of pushes you away get out of here oh well, that's it <laughs> Robin does he have a weapon in his hand he does. He's holding a dagger. Run up. Punch him. Damn. Okay. Uh, punch will be just a uh, strength. You are proficient. That is a hit. And I know what you're going to try to do next, and I got bad news for you. Oh, no. Unarmed strikes are not weapon attacks. What? <laughs> it's in the player's handbook. Unarmed strikes do not count as weapon attacks, so you would be unable to use your Battlemaster dice. Oh, <laughs> dear. <laughs> it's almost like, I came prepared for a session! I did it! <laughs> almost. Well, I'm just gonna kind of realize. <sighs> but you hit him for four. 
right? That's yeah. You gave him a punching. Second wind. <laughs> All right, are you finished? Um, yes. Pikmin. Let's see. I'm just going to stare, stay where I am, and I'm going to whisper. Uh, okay. So, Dissonant Whispers, Wisdom Save, DC 16? Yep. I just had a sheet open. Where did it go? Ooh, wisdom Save. Oof. Bummer. Alright, so half damage? Yeah. Uh, okay. seven? Eight? Sure. Yeah, no, seven. Round down. Okay. Uh, Emma can pick herself up off the ground. She comes to more hot, hot, too hot, 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 oh shit, I'm dead. What the hell? I blew up. Something blew up. Where the hell am I? Oh shit. There's five people. <laughs> she, uh, she stands up. looks around and notices that everyone's facing off against this one guy in the corner. Mm. Oh, the other. Oh well, I'm gonna beat this guy. Take the step forward and attack. That is a miss. That's the second attack. As is that one. And bonus attack. And that is also a miss. Remember, all your attacks have minus four. Minus four. I know. <laughs> okay. Finn, hiding. Um, do I see anything on the ground that I could use as an improvised weapon? Uh, sure. There's all kinds of debris from all your broken weapons and items. You could surely pick up a, a shard, a, a piece, and chuck it. Okay, so I'm going to grab something and and throw it. Is is it a how much damage should it do? The four, only four? No. It's one. <laughs> it's just one damage if you hit. Okay. Uh, actually, wait a minute. I have it open somewhere. Where did it go? Did I close it? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Emperor's weapons. Object bears no resemblance to weapon. Is one d four? Okay, you're right. So. 21, alright, so roll a d4 instead, I'm sorry. Hey! Uh, Ranged attack, uh, can you use a sneak attack? Yeah, I mean, you can use sneak attack on any range. <laughs> okay, uh, so the, he's going to take 13 damage, and then it's going to go dark. And I'll move back to the shadow and right again, hide again. All right. <laughs> Finn keeps taking away everybody's vision. All right. Tap you. Okay, I will. Well, because I can't see anything again, I'm going to cast uh, Diagnodus Flame, so it gives me vision, and then I'm going to use it to attack him. 
uh, 10-15. Yeah, produce flame would light up the room. You throw the fireball, you miss, and then the flame goes out. Poof. And that's all. Folkfire. With the brief amount of knowledge he has of the room, he's going to climb the ladder's name. You're going to climb the ladder? Yep, because that's all he knows is in the room. Okay. When you climb up the ladder, um, you don't, you don't see anything. You don't, you don't, uh, <laughs> you don't, uh, you know, immediately like sound an alarm. But when you walk up here, you can hear like a squeaking sound, and what sounds like uh, some chittering coming from the ceiling above you. But nothing I happens yet. It'll be very, very quiet. <laughs> How quiet? Can you make a stealth check, please? Oh my god, a 16. Wait a minute. You wear heavy armor. You have disadvantage. Right? Don't you wear chain? On him? Yes, you are all armor. still wearing your armor, except for you. You're, they took your cloak. Um, no! Yes. But I think he's wearing chain. No, I, we didn't put any... Back on me, fireman. Back on you. I only only have the fine clothes. Oh, from zombie time. From zombie time. But that was a different folk bar. You're that's not the same folk bar. This is. There's a... no armor on the sheet. Daddy. Okay, then uh, you don't have disadvantage, and you're totally stealthy right now. <laughs> Does this mean folk bars been walking around naked for like two weeks? No, you said you're wearing fine clothes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so walking up the ladder, taking the hide action to stealth. Are you finished? Yeah, that's it. Elazar is not happy. So he. <laughs> Let me read this real quick, like. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh no. Oh. Why would I do that? Okay. So this is what he's going to do, okay? He is going to take this. going to be a Johnny Cash song. I was thinking that. Maybe. Uh, it's supposed to be 20 feet, 5, 10, 15, bigger. Oh no, that's only half size. It's going to burn down the... Okay, you know what? This is too much thinking. I'm just going to go with this option instead. <laughs> All right. So that's that's what he does. He is going to let loose a a flame wall, and uh, this thing is going to emit very very bright light because it's just going to rip right through the room. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, first, it. let's see if you guys survive. Nope. <laughs> uh, I don't think it hits Emma, does it? No, actually, it doesn't. Right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but it... What's the rule for dying? Uh, double your health. It has to do... It has to drop you to zero and do your, full, your total health. So... Oh, okay. Um... Tapio 
failed is taking the full 23. Does that hit me or no? Nope, you're off to the side. Finn is saved by the table. Eh, well, actually, uh, the, the wall is only one foot thick. So I think it, it was literally just Godfrey and Tapio. Oh, does it not hit me? No, it's only one foot thick. And going diagonally like that, I don't think it would hit you. Or Finn. More like a laser beam at this point, I think. I If I read that right, which, you know, sometimes I don't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it said uh, uh, up to 60 foot long 20 feet high, 1 foot thick yes so it was literally just those two squares but it stays there is it concentration? oh uh, yep I don't know why he's not concentrating though here, I'd make him concentrate e. And the, the people that were in the wall, um, they don't get pushed out, but uh, within the area, failed save. It's like to be you. One side of the wall deals damage when you cast this spell. Oh, there's that. <laughs> Each creature that ends its turn within 10 feet of that side or, or inside the wall takes 5d8 damage. And it is going to be, can you guess it? This side. <laughs> this side. So if, if the, those of you on the southern side of the wall uh, end your turn within 10 feet of it, you take damage. Or if you end your turn inside of it, you take damage. All right. Glad we have all the rules cleared up. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> hey. <laughs> So, uh, being in your turn, make a death save. Whoa. Wow! Oh. Wow! <laughs> That's nice. clutch. Run! <laughs> Do you have so a I don't take the damage yet, right? At the I end of your turn, if you're turn. inside the wall. Do you have a square of light up there? Um, yeah. It, I guess it would. Let me... Uh, I have to format that for you. Here. We're just going to put this here. Put it right there. And we'll say that the bright light from down below goes out this far. There you go. <laughs> that probably doesn't make you feel any better, does it? <laughs> Godfrey, did you move? Oh, it still no, has. Not yet. Are you just gonna as chill a... in the fire? I mean, what are you doing? No, I think of what to do. Uh, as a bonus, I'll use a healing word. Then for action, I can disengage, right? So he doesn't get opportunity. Sure. Yep. And then I'll just run up the stairs. Up the up the stairs. Up the wherever folklore went. This is gonna suck, but okay. Everything's in ten. Everything's within ten feet, right? Or if I move above, does it not? No, no, no. Uh, no, you're right. Up the stairs would not. Uh, would be ten feet away. But remember, it's only this side <laughs> of the wall that deals just damage. First in the yellow. So standing here, you won't take damage. Uh, but you can go upstairs. That's fine. You want me to move you? For the story, though. I mean, that's what I think I do. And... The moment he shows his face, can Falkvall grab his mouth? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, imag I imagine there's like a, a trap door, and they just slam it open. <laughs> Fog like, I'll grab your mouth and point up. This is like straight up. Okay, so Godfrey's done. Roven? Question Am I on the side of the. You are on the southern side of the wall. 
I just oh, you should have. That means you should have taken. No, 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 no. Wait. Damn it! I thought I had this spell com- covered. Did it say at when you cast the spell, and then at the end of the turn? When the wall appears, each creature within the area on one side of the wall selected by you when you cast a spell. Okay, no. And <laughs> that's what threw me off. When you cast this spell, but it that's saying you select a side. So yes, you are on the southern side. You will take damage if you are still on the southern side at the end of your turn. Okay, I didn't know if it was just like this. Or no. If I was in that spot. Okay. South. First, can I try to take the dagger out of his hand? Hmm. Um. I mean, there's no reason you couldn't try to just grab his hand and yank it out of it. Um. What I'm gonna have you do, okay, is we're gonna treat this like a disarm action, right? Well, that's that's what it would have to be. So you're going to attack him. If you hit, you can choose to deal no damage, and you can knock the weapon out of his hand. Once, with my punch? With, yeah, well, that's the only thing you can attack him with, right? Yeah. <laughs> and Dang el- it. 11 is a miss. I only just want to knock him. And... Is that all? Unless I want to try to take an opportunity. Actually, yeah, I'm just going to move around. Alright, so he's going to take an opportunity attack. And with that opportunity attack, he's going to give you a stabity. Oh, wait, I can't use superiority dice for punch. That's right. So you're finished then, yeah? Yep. Did you take your six? Yep. Pikmin. Oh my. Let loose Eldritch Blast times two. So minus nine. Roll the check. Passes. And then minus one. Make another check. Passes again. So, is this legal to move and then move through both Emma and Rovin to the other side? As long as you can finish your movement without being in their space. Perfect. Yep. Okay. I'm good. Yeah, it's a small room. Emma? Okay, uh, well, all she can do is punch, so she's just gonna punch. <laughs> right. That's a hit. That is not. Is Nor is that. No. Oh, wait, was the first one a hit? Oh, yeah. 22, yeah. Well, 18. 18. Yeah, 18 is it. Okay. Finn. Finn will move to here. Grab the chair. (laughs) Throw the chair out of here. And then... Chair! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Um, Actually, for... Oops. Put that back. Uh, for the chair as an improvised weapon, I would say that is close enough to be a club. So if you have a proficient... Oh, it's it's still a D4. Never mind. It's not actually any better. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it is better because it would be a D4 plus your strength. Doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, okay, it doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you walk up and you hit him with the chair. Bam. 
then I'll and lose. he loses <laughs> that chair hit really <laughs> throws him for a loop because he loses <laughs> concentration on the flame wall oh that also means it's dark again <laughs> 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 I didn't know we we had uh, Jerry Lawler. In the oh my God, he hit him with the steel. Anyway, uh, then I'll move back a little bit. And... and uh, I think I can hide yet. So. Okay. <laughs> Under the chair you just threw. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tapio. I'm going to use the like, Odo's flame again. Okay. So you have vision for long enough to throw the flame. Ooh, and that is a hit. And as a bonus action, I'm going to use healing light as level 2 on myself. On yourself, okay. Fuck fire. And oh, go ahead. I, I will move next to the wall. Uh, I can see the wall, so just say if I'm too high. Yep. Alright, fuck fire. What would you um, like to do? Can I befriend one of these? I'm you're always welcome to try. What would that be? <laughs> um, well, first you're going to describe to me how you want to try and befriend one. And then I'll tell you what to roll. Or even if you need to roll. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Um, the, the sort of, it's sort of like squeaking I can hear, right? But I know it's coming from above me. Oh, but wait so, a minute. The light is gone. The, the firewall that was issuing the light disappeared. Oh, no. <laughs> wait, wait. No, because he saw them, so he did see at least one. So he's going to move under one in that direction, and he's going to sort of like mimic the same sounds that they were making. <laughs> Slowly reach out and try and touch whatever the hell it is, because he can't really see it. And, and like, I don't know. It's just trying to befriend an animal. Okay, so you you reach up and you touch it, and you try to make uh, similar cooing sounds. Yes. I don't have very much confidence in this. Neither do I. You can go ahead and roll a animal handling check with disadvantage. But if you pass this, <laughs> oh, is that I'm dead. <laughs> so so, you reach up and you touch it and you start squeak squeak, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and all you succeed in doing is waking it up. And then when it begins I, I to, I don't know what it is, but squeak squeak. When squeak. it begins all, all to flap and flutter its wings, uh. The other ones begin to kind of fly around the chamber, and now it was they... a, it was a bat. What are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, shake the room. Okay, uh, Folkvar. So that didn't work. Shake the room. Okay. Back to Elazar. Elazar, things are not working out for him. So he. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. He is going to do this. Range ninety feet. Uh, twenty foot radius. Yellow nauseating gas. 
So let's put down our tw 20. I'm pretty sure that's the entire room. Yeah. No, it's 25 by 25. Okay. So here we go. 20 foot radius. Let's go get up there. No, that's a 20 foot radius. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> so the entire room here is filled with this noxious gas now. Uh, why is. Go upstairs. A um, little bit. But not enough to where it would affect anybody, because the in order to be affected, you have to be completely within the. Tapio, why are you outside the wall? Uh, I can see the wall, so. Uh, I asked if I'm outside. Oh, I, I missed it. You can just move me, so I'm inside. There you go. All right, but right now I need. Tapio, oh no, not right now. It's at the start of your turn, right? Uh, each creature is completely with at the start of his turn. Okay, that's it. So that's what he does. Uh, also, I do believe it. This is heavily obscured area. Uh, squeakers, squeak, squeakity squeak them. All right, so they're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get right up. Right up all close, like here we go. So, they these giant bats <laughs> are going to come forward, and uh, they are about the size of like a medium sized dog, right? I mean, we, we can't see, so we're just going, yeah, you the can't side. see, so so you're just you're standing here in the dark. And so then they're, they're, you're just being, there's a flurry of, of noxious air as their wings kind of flutter around you and you're being beat by the, the leather wings and that you can just feel them reaching in to bite at you. Um, if you are essentially blinded, does that mean attack rolls against the creature have advantage? That is correct. Because, believe it or not, bats can see in the dark pretty well. <laughs> Godfrey. Ooh, Godfrey. The, the seven? Yep. And... Folkvar? Uh, uh, unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those of you in the room below, you hear two heavy thumps as the, the clerics go down. Well, since he's still on the stairs, Daddy, I think he would fall down. Oh, I think you are absolutely right. So he comes tumbling down Pikmin. Uh, you get kind of pushed back as his body rolls into you. Brother Godfrey. Hey, hey, just go. Nope. Uh, no, not a net 20. He just came tumbling down the stairs. Yep. Roven, start your turn. You need to make a con save for the uh, for the stink cloud. I believe that is a fail. So, uh, the way it works is because you failed the con save at the beginning of your turn, you spend your action retching and reeling from the noxious gas. And because you're like convulsing and, and trying not to throw up, you are unable to take any other action. Um, you can move. Can I see that chair that I've been through? Well, yeah, you, you have... Oh, no, 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 heavily obscured area. That's right. Okay, so does that just mean I can't see? Yep, it's like a, a thick fog in the room. Pikmin. Retchin. Did you say Retchin? Okay, yep, Pikmin's puking. Emma? Nope. Oh. <laughs> <Everyone. laughs> uh, I can bonus action attack. Can I do that? 
I think you can. Uh, let me look at the text because it specifically says use your action, retching and reeling. Uh, martial arts, you have to attack them. To use your... Oh, I think he's right. Yeah, you have to right. make attack yeah. first and then you can use martial arts. Right. Okay. Well, I guess that's that. Finn? Come on, someone's got to pass this save. Not Finn. <laughs> <laughs> I'll move closer to the the, the bookshelf and and continue Maybe hiding. Maybe if we all throw up on him, he'll leave. Oh. <laughs> I just imagine you like clutter, you smack it in the bookshelf all the books. Yeah. <laughs> Tapio. <laughs> oh my god. Yep, Stink Cloud OP. What do plants throw up? <laughs> Great question. Vines? Sap. It's just like, it's just like, 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 yeah, like stringy bits of grass and sap. <laughs> so. Will I know that God thing is when he take up down the stairs? Um, technically, he can't can you see, see in the dark? No. Okay, so you don't know that it was Godfrey, right? But you heard somebody fall down the steps. Mm, well, healing word actually says I must see them. So right. Can I use it on myself if I can see myself? I would allow that. Okay, I'm going to heal myself. Okay. Folkvar unconscious in the room above. Pass the death save. Elazar has to make a con save too. He is not immune to the effects of his own spell. And so he also is uh, gagging a wretched as uh, he tries to, to, you know, keep his composure. But it doesn't matter. He At least he prevented all of you from doing anything. Then there's the bats. Oh, God, Fulkvar. Um, what would the bats do? Can they fit down the hole? They could, but I don't know if they would. Because remember, there is a noxious gas that is, you know, c coming up through that hole. So they would smell that and they would, uh... <laughs> I don't think they would go down there. Because they're animals, you know, they're not intelligent. Shirt for brains! For Brian's. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, brother. Welcome to the family. Appreciate you. Um, so no, I don't think they would go down there. And with Folkvar being dead, I don't think... That they would, uh, they would continue to. Bite. I think they would just kind of go back up into their roost and go back to sleep after uh, squawking and screeching for a bit. Like honestly, that's because they're not overly aggressive. Um, Godfrey. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> oh, oof. Robin? Con save. So, Robin, you will not be affected uh, by the poison gas. So, is heavily oh, by Wait, wait, wait. Uh, speaking of, remember, th it is considered poison. So, if you are uh, resistant or immune, that does affect the con save. It said that in the spell description. I don't. Th is that anybody here? No? Okay. It's heavily obscured, like you can't see at all, or you can see just like right in front of you. Heavily obscured. Um, it, it means, I believe, that you can't see at all. I'm pulling up the rules. I know that you can't, uh, heavily obscured, you can't attack, you can't see uh, spells, item, wait, what? Tunnel vision, dark vision. Ever since true sight, blind sight, no. What is it under in the compendium? Sight. 
Or environment. Environment. Light and vision. Yeah. Vision light. Uh, dim light, darkness, bright light. Heavily obscured area is does not blind you, but you are effectively blinded when you try to see something in it. So, mechanically speaking, in when you're heavily obscured, um, any check against something that you can't see automatically fails if it requires sight. Attack rolls uh, have advantage against you, and uh, and the creatures attack rolls have disadvantage okay so if I'm just kind of feeling around I'm looking for that chair that Finn threw somewhere okay I think I think it's somewhere near him bam <laughs> if I'm just waving around can I try to find it sure sure you can stumble into it and I would like to once I get a hold of it uh, break one of the legs off and use it as a club. Okay, so you're gonna try and hit him with the chair. Yes. So that would be a D4, right? Would I just add like a club to my sheet? Yeah, uh, you could do that for simplification. And. I'm going to wait here until something walks in front of me and try to club it. Or chair leg it. So, so that's what you're going to do? You're just going to kind of wait for him to come to you? Yep. Alright, Pickles. Uh, let's see if I'm puking. <laughs> eh? Probably I not. believe it's DC 16. Yep, spell say... No, 15. DC 15. Puking. Emma. Oh. Also puking. That that stink cloud puts work puts in work. All right, Finn. Finn is safe. Okay, so I'll grab one book. <laughs> and <laughs> then I'll throw it in this general direction. Okay. Uh, this will be a normal. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I was gonna say it would be a normal attack for you. You know, disadvantage because of the the vision, but you're actually attacking from being hidden. But if it doesn't I matter. See, you suck bad. If I see my bike, <laughs> can I try to hit it with my chair? My leg, like. <laughs> uh, well, no, because you wouldn't see anything. Uh, Tapio. You hear Godfrey crying out and moaning in pain. Oh, that's a fail! This is... No bon bonus actions left. Okay. This is this is how Godfrey dies. Covered in fart gas and... <laughs> <laughs> crumpled at the bottom of, this, of the ladder. The I'm probably puking on him a little bit. Just a little <laughs> covered in vomit. <laughs> Folkvar. Ooh, a death save fail. Elizar fails his own spell. Oh, Godfrey. It's been nice knowing you guys. Roll it! <gasps> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> How do you get two <laughs> nat 20s on death saves in the same session? I'm pretty sure that's a D&D achievement. Yeah. Yeah, he would he would have been dead there if he hit... Oh if my it, god. If it's, if it's not, make one. <laughs> wow. Yeah, hacks! Alright, uh, Godfrey, you are conscious... Uh, you are, however, in the stink cloud. Go ahead and roll a uh, con save. Con save. Yep. Okay, <laughs> so start so you wake up, you roll over onto your side, and you puke on the ground. <laughs> Roven. Gonna walk 
walk in this gentle direction and try to swing at what I think is the angry dude. You need to make a con save before you do anything. Oh, I do need to do. Dang it. Well, I'm puking. Yeah, you are. I'll, I'll walk over here. Okay. Pikmin? Definitely puking. <laughs> this is where did the game it's come one from? of those. It's one of those things where you, where you see someone puking and then you can't help them puke. This is the, this is all going around in the circle. <laughs> I I don't know. I didn't know I ate that much. That's a fail. Is the one I need it? It's fifteen, right? Oh yes. Yes, 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 yes. I, I, I was saying 16 earlier, but that was wrong. Yes, that is a pass. Excellent. Can we um, <laughs> flood the room with puke? No, I don't think you can. Can I attack? If I'm attacking something in the cloud, they have disadvantage because they're... I have advantage because they're blinded, but disadvantage because I can't see them. No, you are, are blinded. You have disadvantage. Okay. Let's see if I can work this concentration. <laughs> Yeah. I don't think Sync Cloud is a concentration spell. Uh, so that is a 12. That is a miss. And that is also a miss. All three miss. Finn. Again, I will grab another book and throw and in this general direction. Nope. I forgot. I... Okay, you're fine. And that's it. Tapio. Nope. Folkvar, death save. To success. So now it's his turn. He definitely fails and cannot take his action. Uh, he is going to move down the steps, provoking AO from both of you. No. Ah! <laughs> to see, is that technically nice, no disadvantage? <laughs> he gets the award. Yeah, he has disadvantage. Can I spend this? Because you have a chair leg? <laughs> yes! Yes, you could! That is a weapon attack! Extra four damage. I want to disarm him. Um, well... Hold on. With a chair four. leg, huh? Are, no, you, are you sure about that? You want to take the disarm action? No. Okay. I'm going to... So he takes 11 damage... I'm going to try to trip him. Okay. So what's he need to roll? Is it... Uh, Strength 15. He fails and goes tumbling down the steps. Ah. <laughs> he lands into the room down below. Wait, is this the right room? Down H7. No, that is not the right room. The right room is this one here. He goes tumbling down below and you hear him shout... Get them! Is my 14 hidden? Uh, no. Oh, yes. What's uh, what's your 14? Where is it? I missed it. It's uh, right under his 25. For one damage? <laughs> hey, you have to make concentration checks for both of them. He did. 18 and 16. All right, uh, and then these two here. And Godfrey. Con save? Yes, sir. Pass. Can I, you can't make this go away, right, the cloud? 
it's like it's just there. Uh, no, you totally can. The the spell is like it's just a guess, right? The problem is, is that where you currently are, there are no windows. There's no breeze, nothing to move the gas away. But there's the the stairs going down and the ladder going up. So there, I mean, like there are holes. If we uh, get the bats to come in and flap their wings or something, maybe. Yeah, but the bats smelled. You know, they went to the opening there and said, hey, "No way." Can I see where he ran down? You can't see Wait, anything. I can't see anything. Yeah. Yeah. One, it's dark. Two, it's heavily obscured. Can I uh, try to follow the left wall and I mean, then see if I can? Any <coughs> I'll just follow the wall around. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, there's no reason you couldn't do that. Yeah, just tell me if I when I hit something. <coughs> right now, you're you're, you know, touching Emma. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll. I don't know. Should I cast light? I mean, you could. You got nothing else to do, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, light oh. cantrip. There you go. So now, Brother Godfrey's lit up. But I mean, it's still heavily obscured oh, because oh. of the cloud. So I can't see the stairs. No. I mean, you know they're there. I'll just stand here and uh, <laughs> anybody that tries to come up. I guess. Roman. I'm going to continue. You're going to make a con save? Oh, yeah. Uh. You can still move. Can I just ready an action? Ready an action, do what? Hit anyone with the chair leg that comes up the stairs. <laughs> okay. Pikmin? Pukin! I'm gonna yeah. scuttle into this corner. Puking? <laughs> yep. yep, yep, yep. Yep, and grabbing two. I'll just stay here. Yep. <laughs> That stink cloud is something. Folkvar is stabilized. So, I mean, that's good. Oh, yeah, he's up there. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot Help all me. about him. <laughs> Help me. Stairs up there. Uh, so he's going to go 5, 10, 15, 20. 25. And that'll provoke Rovin's reaction. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Is that another achievement? <laughs> okay. Uh, and then the priest here. Not being able to see shit. I don't even know why I brought him down here. Probably wasn't a good call. Uh, <laughs> oh, why not? He's just going to stand at the steps. And burning hands out in front of him. And why not? Let's go for Brooke. Whoosh. I don't know what you guys are thinking. But how do we know where the burning hands went? Well, I will show you right now. With a 15 foot radius... Hey, right. right. Right there. <laughs> That's the way it goes. So, b burning hands. Wow! 
unfortunately misses most of the people who uh, <laughs> are there at the, at the stairs. And uh, Brother Godfrey, are you going to make a save or are you just going to eat it? Eh, won't bother. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 5, 10, 15. Does that dissipate the guy? Uh, actually, he's not going to go anywhere because he can't. He's just going to stay right there at the, at the bottom of the steps. Because he can't see into the room because of the gas. Uh, Elazar is it going to? He's gonna heal himself for six. Hit him good with the chair leg. And then he's just gonna hit him good with the chair leg. <laughs> uh, Brother Godfrey. What are the odds? It's another 20. No, it's not going to happen. That would be impossible. Three nat 20s on death saves. Come on. This happened before. Reuben? I'm just going to chair like this guy. <laughs> no, I don't think you are, actually. Well, uh, crap. <laughs> Ooh. Pikmin. Pukin. This is really getting to me. <laughs> yeah, this is like round seven of, oh my god, I can't do anything. Uh, Emma. Well, we only have a few more rounds to go, I think. Mm, depends. It's a minute duration, and he cast it in round six. I, no, not round six. It could have been. Unfortunately, I can't scroll up to where it started. Let's just say it was it was four. So at round fourteen, <laughs> it'll it'll wear off finally. Fire didn't burn it off. No, sir. Okay. Uh, oh, 14 on the save. It's puking. Finn. <laughs> Tapio. <laughs> Just oh rock. This spell is stupid. Oh, he's stable? So now it's the Flame Priest again. Yep, of course. And uh, this time he's going to turn to the right. And all those are gone, so let's use a two. Shooting it out to the right, that's going to hit uh, just Robin. You pass the deck save, so you're going to take 9, 10, 11, 12. Take 6, fire. And the Guardian's still just standing there at the bottom of the stairs, waiting. Elizar. Going to Healing Word. Yeah. And then action. What is he going to do for his action? Oh, probably nothing. He's going to guidance the other guy. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Brother Godfrey. Brother Godfrey? I think I... Oh, okay. There it goes. Oh, actually, you don't need to do that. He casts Guidance on the other guy. That means that the Stink Cloud will dissipate. So 
So there's your death save. And Robin? I'm gonna hit this guy. Nope. Don't think you are. Uh. Pikmin. Thirteen and sixteen, uh that sixteen will hit. For thirteen damage. Hooey. Finished? Yeah, he finished. Uh Emma. So I can see now, huh? Yes. She will try and strike this guy. Miss, uh, 14, 14 and the 23 will hit. Let me check on something, though. Okay. So a total of three for five damage and a roll on the crit table. Uh, the, four, the fourteen not hit. No, it's not a fourteen. It's a ten. No, the second attack was an eighteen, so it was a fourteen. Yeah, so I said that will hit, and then the twenty-seven hit the twenty-three. Oh, yeah. Um, you're many able to maneuver after you attack. Uh, you can choose to try and grapple if you have a free hand or shove. Uh, if you both hands are in you, so. You can try to grapple or shove if you'd like. Are those strength checks? No. Grapple and shove is you attack, but you do no damage if it hits. And then you either knock them back ten feet or you knock them prone. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll try and knock them prone. Yeah, there's literally no, no downside. Just roll it. Alright. Uh, Finn. Finn? We'll check a book at the guy. I'm gonna run out of books soon, buddy. <laughs> Bonk. A, a hit? Yep. So, are you gonna sneak attack? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never see this coming! <laughs> Learn something! <laughs> something. <laughs> All right, uh, Tapio. Okay, I'm going to cast Frostbite on him. Frostbite on the Flame Priest. Oh, no, no. Uh, Khan. Passed. That's all. Popar? Nope, oh, stable. All right, so now the pl the flame priest, no longer being robbed of sight, he's going to do his thing now. And it is going to... Bah, 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 bah. Scorching Ray. So that is a miss. 2d6. Wait, what? Yeah, okay, that is a miss. Um, next is Emma, well, sometimes they, uh, miss, and 15, ah, those all miss. I also used all my slots for no reason. Give me that back. Okay, um, after that, the Flame Guardian, from where he's standing now at the bottom of the stairs, looking up, he can see the Flame Priest, and behind him... Uh, Emma. So the guardian, the guardian. Uh oh, don't don't do that. He's going to try to shoot you with his crossbow. Pew. I'm hit. It. Okay. I am going to be asleep. Okay. Good night, sweet princess. Uh, Elazar, he's still not done doing his thing yet. He's going to stand down here 
and you'll never guess it. And then Okay. So so you keep hearing him casting incantations in the room below. But you can't there's something else going on down there. You can't quite see. Godfrey. Godfrey. Yeah, it takes a while to the <laughs> There you go. Robin? Um, Chairlift. Miss. God. That's it. Pikmin. 1326 for 12 damage. Oop. There we go. And then that's it. Emma's on the ground. Make a death save. Oh, God. Okay. Woof. Finn. I'll grab a book. And throw it at the priest. Hit. And sneak attack. Okay. And that will kill the priest. <laughs> Uh, that Killed. Be, and that's it. <laughs> he, he it was precision he hit him in the temple it was a very heavy book <laughs> and they said words you never heard <laughs> knowledge is power <laughs> I am going to use my another initial ability and cast good day Okay. So there's now ten good pegs that's that are hanging back on my back and just Okay. And, well, that's my action so I can't use them to heal anyone. <coughs> so I'm just going to yell at everybody that use them use yeah. these to heal them. Yeah, everybody eat my berries <laughs> Put my berries in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds wrong. <laughs> Folklore, still stable. Chilling Ouch. with the bats. <laughs> uh, the priest is dead. Let's get him out of the tracker. Which, that means there's room for the guardians to come up there now. So that guy's gonna stay at the base of the steps with his flaming crossbow. This guy, however... I, don't know, I, have to, I should probably count his movement, right? That maybe... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 to get to here. So 30, uh, screw it. we'll just leave him there at the steps. So he walks up and uh, I actually think that we haven't seen these guys before. Let me uh, give you a better image of what the flame guardians look like. Um, so they're wearing heavy armor, right? And they're clad in thick leather uh, under their armor, and they wear thick leather gl gloves and goggles. And on the exposed parts of flesh on the on his arms and on his face, you can see that most of his body is covered in horrible burns. So again, it's apparent that this is definitely a flame cultist. Uh, so he runs up, and. Uh, you see he kind of takes one of those gloves and he rubs it along the blade. And, and then uh, you see the blade is, is coated in oil, which he promptly strikes against his armor and it catches a flame. And uh, doing all that, nope, of course it doesn't cost an action. It's going to, <laughs> he's going to attack you now with the flaming longsword, Robin. Oh, it's a miss. Oh, again. I would like to spend a superior. Uh, parry? Yeah. Counterattack, whatever it is. Repost. 
So you spend a superior dairy day. Uh, where does that dice get added? Into the attack or the damage of the repost? Do you know? DMG? Uh, adds to damage. Okay. Oh, he's at answering. Okay. 15 is a miss. <laughs> yeah, remember? Heavily armored. High AC. All right, Elazar appears at the uh, bottom of the steps again. And we've already established that the steps, it's only like like five feet from one square to the next, so the entire stairs are maybe ten feet from top to bottom. So standing at the bottom of the steps, you can see up into the room. And being able to see up into the room... Uh, uh huh. Yep, he is going to cast a nasty spell. Spike growth. Oh god. Oh yes. Uh, area of twenty foot radius, centered on a point. Blah blah blah. Uh, oh my god! I can click buttons. So here's our spike growth. So everything in that room is now difficult terrain. Uh, when you move into or within the area, you take 2d4 piercing for every five feet you travel. And I know it says it's supposed to look natural, it's not. <laughs> no, you can definitely see all these spikes just kind of sprout up out of the ground. All these, all these uh, vines and thorns, and it's very obvious what he did. Okay, and Brother Godfrey. Oh, still laying on the ground. Stable. Stable. Robin. Uh, 15 is a miss. Oh, God. That's it. Pikmin. Just immediate. as soon as the tracker turns him, he just rips the, uh... <laughs> he just rips two Eldritch Blasts. Uh, 25 will hit. 14. Done. Yep. Emma. Wow. Okay. Uh, you are up with one hit point. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna move. I'm just gonna. I guess. I guess I'll attack. Okay. Uh, 18, 21, and 20. All hits for 4, 2, and 4. 4, 8, 10. 10 total. Okay. Finn? Finn! There's no more books on the shelf! Oh, no! Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything uh, around that I can control? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it doesn't look like it, buddy. We've thrown all the uh, books, the candlestick, the, the, the chair. <laughs> uh, okay. uh, take, take the shelf. <laughs> Throw the shelf. Uh, uh, Finn will shout to, to, <laughs> to Roven. Throw me some books back. <laughs> and then uh, he will dodge. All right, Tapio. I'm going to cast Tag of Bite again. Uh, this time on the Guardian, he's going to make a con save. He's going to fail that con save and take five damage. Are there any he, other effects? He has disadvantage on next weapon attack. Okie dokie. Oh, it's uh, Vicious Mockery for Druids. Uh, 
Folk bar, still stable. Help me. <laughs> Help me. Anybody? <laughs> All right, the guardians now. Uh, there's the one on the steps. There's one at the bottom here. Uh, this guy, get out of here. <laughs> he's still... Why would he take damage? He's still standing. Oh, yes, he does. Yes, he absolutely does. Because of uh, thorns. As does the other guy. Because he just moved in. So, so is it two d four for every five feet? Of every him? five feet. But if it's difficult, to... that's only never mind. Yeah, it costs you ten feet of movement, and you take damage. All right, so now we have two dudes in here with flaming long swords. And they're going to try and cut Roven and cut uh, Emma. Roven? Roven? First has disadvantage. Oh, it does! It does have... Okay, so 15's a miss. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, the second one does not have disadvantage. Okay, it's still a miss. Next one attacking Emma. Yeah! Nope. Yeah! Nope. Oh, wait. Yes. 22 drops. Okay, there we go. And uh, you're shouting coming from the room down below. Um, you recognize it as the man with the pipe, and, and he shouts, I am returning to Tier Basil. Kill the interlopers. Make sure they don't interfere with us again. And, and you hear a, a, a scraping sound. What, he, what it sounds like a heavy stone being moved. And then it goes back to the Eternal Flame uh, Guardian. Nope. To Brother Godfrey. Brother Godfrey. Oh, you're stable. You're right. Roven! <laughs> okay, uh, hit? No, not a hit. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. Uh, yep. Pikmin. 12, 25 is a hit, and that will kill the first of the Guardians. Okay. Emma? Okay. Finn? I need books! <laughs> I'll dodge again. Top you. Where, 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 where? Fail. Uh, yes. Okay, that's all. Still Wait. stable. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Done. <laughs> all right. Uh, Guardian attacking Roven. Die already. Disadvantage. Son of a... Alright, wow. uh, disadvantage missed, and then the next attack missed as well. Uh, Brother Godfrey, stable. Roven. Oh. Nope. Pikmin. Uh, both ah. miss. Okay. Emma, death save. That is actually a fail. Because, yeah, that's a six. Uh, Finn, still not doing anything. <laughs> I want books, please. <laughs> Dodge again. Uh huh. Tapio. He's just gonna keep chipping away. Oh, not this time. 
<laughs> Still stable. Guardian. Nice miss. Nice miss. It missed. It uh, missed. Yeah, <laughs> both both <laughs> missed. Uh oh. At this time, he would have. Uh, Elazar would have traveled so far to be outside of the range of uh, the spell. Finally! If I... <laughs> you know, it's pointless now, but... Yeah, I'm gonna hit him with chair like again. That is a hit! Take that four damage. That's it? Okay. Pickles! 22 and 19 both hits. Seven. Okay. Emma. 14 for a stable. Uh, oh, Finn? Finn? Yeah, I know. Uh, is uh, the sword in, in the ground for, for from the guy who died is still in, in, in play in yeah right here on fire in the yeah uh, yeah still burning still burning yes okay so uh i'm gonna walk up and pick up his longsword nah i'm going to walk up <laughs> and, and, and take one book and then bonk it on the guy Clubbing with a book. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why is it a three? Oh, one d four. Improvised weapon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> walk up and you. <laughs> then I'll, I'll I'll dash with my bonus action to here. And then... Okay. Tapio. Okay, I'm going to walk next to Emma and use my action to make him eat one of my baggies. So he gets one HP. Alright, so force feed him a berry. Yes. Okay. So Emma's at one. That's all. Squeak! Squeak! <laughs> <laughs> the uh, guard? I'm gonna attack Emma! Oh. <laughs> I thought it would be a big surprise. And Roven. Oh, oh and v <laughs> <laughs> Roven, take 11. <laughs> Down he goes. <laughs> oh, and there was a weapon there on the ground for you, finally. I just <laughs> uh, Brother Godfrey, stable. <laughs> Roven. Okay. Pikmin. Here comes the Eldritch Barrage. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is a dead cultist. Yay! Uh, woo. Okay. Are we dead yet? I'm going to feed all downed men uh, Let's say 30 good baggies, so they get 30 HP. Alright, so everybody heals 13? How many good berries do you make? Uh, I said 30. Uh, I have a 9 left, so I give... Follow by... 3. And... Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um... So everybody heals 3, and then, um... What do you guys do now? I'm taking this longsword. Okay. It's just a normal long sword. Uh, well, currently it's on fire. Not magical fire, mind you. Just it's on fire. Can Can I take a look at uh, uh, upstairs? Can you take a look upstairs? <laughs> Absolutely, you can take a look upstairs. Okay, I'll take a look upstairs. Uh, 
Uh, can you see in the dark, by the way? Nope. Okay. So you go upstairs to Folkvar. And you see his bleeding body there. Squeak, squeak. And yes, you hear squeaking noises coming from the rafters up above you. Um, I'll try to be silent. <clears throat> and I'll try to drag uh, Folkvar down. Without making too much noise. Okay, so you drag Folkvard down. Uh, do it just a stealth check to see if you're able to avoid rousing whatever. Oh. The one time you don't look good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it's good enough. It's good enough. Oof. Passive perception 11. So you drag Folkvar back downstairs, and then I'm going to go pee real quick while you guys uh, plan your next move, okay? I'll be right back, everyone. I assume Godfrey's taking the other longsword. Yeah, I can use it. Do you want, do you want to go downstairs or wherever? See if there's anything fun there. Well, we need... We can sure check downstairs. A... I'm pretty sure he put a slab or something. We hear a stone grating. Uh, we I need have to... uh, two prayers of healing in reserve. I could use one. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. We, we... If... If... If we have uh, enough time to uh, short rest, it would be better. But... Well, I'm pretty sure we're locked in here besides the bats, so... Yeah. You guys want to go downstairs, see if there's like a door we can lock? Because I'm pretty yeah. sure everyone's, everyone's coming after us, right? I mean, I assume so. Yep. <laughs> I need a new mask. Why? Wow, yeah. <laughs> carve, carve one of their faces off and just oh, <laughs> or use their goggles. <laughs> so you're a drow. Yes. Uh, I can understand why you use the mask. People generally don't like you. Pigman's been, like, always trying to guess. He, he, he guessed it last time. Better start grabbing all the books he can. <laughs> yes, I, I, I already put... Uh, I'm holding two. One in each hand, <laughs> and I have, I have two more in my my belt. I just imagine. Maybe like, maybe you can break the table and use it as a shield or something. I just Im <laughs> I just imagine how he just like he has like them all stacked up in one arm, and he just kind of checks them like frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the plan? Just I guess I should say that uh, since there was talk of rest and all this other stuff, you can hear a great clamor and commotion coming from the other levels of the tower. It's obvious that they are well aware of your existence, and you hear footsteps rushing towards you. Can I try to make a shield out of the table? Just grab a shield. We go downstairs. Yeah. Go downstairs? I'm going to pick up one of the shields. Can we downstairs to see what the room is like? Yeah, sure. You can move real slow and take your time and try to investigate first. What could ha what could go wrong? Okay. Do that. Or, or I was thinking like maybe barricade this room. I don't know. Throw the table on the stairs or something. Shut up! You're going downstairs. That's what you <laughs> said. <laughs> so, <laughs> walking downstairs. Where is it? 
You're on the same map, just up in the corner, top left. Oh, uh, okay, top left. Uh, as you walk down the stairs, the room has a dozen bedrolls scattered across the floor. Stone stairs continue upward along the inside of the, the tower's northern wall. Is there anything useful on the bedrolls? Um, looking through all the supplies, you manage to find, uh, some really just mundane items mostly. Um, some rations, some rope. Uh, you do, however, find a, a small dagger, uh, but nothing. Thank God! <laughs> oh, we, uh, just for, we grabbed the longsword or something? Do I have one now? Well, each, each of the, uh those guards had uh, a long sword, a heavy crossbow, and ten bolts. Each. Each. That's what I put in chat. Yeah, there's two long swords. I took one, I think Godfrey took one. They didn't okay. have the shield. You should still have your shield. They didn't take your armor. <laughs> Unless Yay. it was magical. Oh, so I have my Although Folkvar, Folkvar didn't have any armor, <laughs> as he inf <laughs> informed us. Oh, he has so a shield. Just, just have a, a shield and um, bind clothes with the leather straps over him. Yep. So, is there any other stairways? Not here. Further down we go. You mean up? Yes. You went down. There's no other entrance. Oh, what? Yeah, you just went down. And I'm sorry, no, you went up. I have notes all over the maps, but apparently I don't read them. Yeah, you went up. You're. This is the the top peak of the tower. So now going down. Puts you back in this room. So where did he go? Where did the guy go? He disappeared. Do you really want to go where he went? No. <laughs> so the only way to go is bats. Bats. I think I'm... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, again, I have notes all over my map, but I don't read them, apparently. Who wants to read... Uh, <laughs> from this room, the stairs continue. <laughs> it, it's, there we go. Okay. Reading is fun. Uh, when you get to here, the stairs continue up or they go further down. So you went down to this room. The stairs go further. I was prepared, but now I'm not. <laughs> Apparently I peed out all of my brains. <laughs> 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 that's a weird thing to say <laughs> without context anyway what are you guys doing <laughs> continuing down the uh... sure do we want to try and do it stealthily yes <laughs> well they already know we're here who's uh... Okay, uh, marching order. Who's going down the stairs first? I... You guys want... Wait, uh, before we go, do you want to heal up or something? I can do a quick... Yes. Healing sounds nice. One more, maybe? <laughs> Three more, if I cast it second level. Just cast it! <laughs> I don't know. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Cast it! We might do it. it later when we're all dead. We need it now. <laughs> so I have a. Ooh, that's nice. That's a. One cure wounds. On. Two? On uh, wh whoever wants it. I Wait, I thought you were gonna one. prayer. Yeah, that's what oh, I thought. Prayer? Would we have. I'll give you 10 Can minutes for a prayer. Okay, sure. What? <laughs> 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 uh, 
So nine to everyone. <coughs> I'll, I'll take back that earlier attack. Okay. Okay. Alright, marching order. Who's going down the stairs first? I'll go, Not it. I'll go first. Are you sure? Yes. What kind of armor are you wearing? Studded leather. Oh, okay then. Stealthy. Alright, make a stealth check as you move down the stairs. <laughs> All right, so you try to move stealthily down the steps. You trip and kind of uh, somersault your way down. Boom, 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 oof. And then you see that. Would you like to shout something up the steps to the rest of the party? Found them. <laughs> <laughs> them what? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone roll initiative. So, do I still have my wooden shield? Uh, is it on your sheet? Yes, but it was unequipped. Uh, then yeah, re-equip it. Alright, did everybody make it into the tracker? Nope. There he goes. No, you're in the tracker. It's for 20? Yeah. Okay. Put everything in order. And Finn, you're up first. So okay, you... I'll go downstairs. Can't see upstairs. I wait, go. wait, wait, wait! You can't see. Yes. Because this guy right here should definitely be putting off light. Good to know. Okay, so there you go. Now you should be able to see. Okay. Uh... <laughs> I will throw a book at the guard or one of the guards. Okay. And go back upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I did throw a book. <laughs> All right, and then you run back upstairs. Yes. Uh, wait, wait. What is that? All that movement? Five, ten, fifteen. Yeah, I uh, dashed my my. Oh, but oh, yeah, that's right. Stupid rogue. Uh, <laughs> Tapio, how many books did you recover, by the way? Uh, four. Four. Yeah, that's that seems like a logical amount. So you have three books left. Uh, Tapio. Okay, I'm going down. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Mm, I'll go next to this guy and use Shilali and attack. Oh yeah, that's still a thing that you have on. <laughs> so you move up to the guard, you shillelagh, and get blocked. Okay. Next is Brother Godfrey. 5, 10, 15. Is this thing in front of me a hole? Like, I can look down? No, it's like, like a carpet. Oh, okay. I thought it was like it. No, sir. It's just like a, a tattered and worn rug got thrown on the floor. I uh, go downstairs. All right, so that's five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Twenty. Twenty-five. Yeah, I can't really run. If I if I stay here, I'll be blocking. Yes, you'll be blocking Maybe the I'll, stairs. I'll move here to make it like thirty. Yeah. Okay. Then uh. Sacred flame. On. Um, On the the guy Tapio hit. All right. Uh. Oh, that's not him. Fail. Then that's it. Okay. 
So he is just going to take one step over towards uh, Tapio. And the rest of you, uh, standing where you are, looking down the steps, you could probably get a good look at the creature in the room down below. And I'm just saying that because here's your handout. <laughs> you'll be fine. You'll you'll be fine. I promise that you probably will not be. Um, so the Azer is going to um, try and hit you with its Warhammer. Ah! That's a miss. That's it. Okay. Pikmin. All right. So that's what? 15 feet to make it there? Sure. Uh, I want to see what's going on. Okay. So. Oh, God. My roll 20 is lagging. Okay. Uh, so that, how much more distance is that? To get to there would be 25. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a thing and then I'm going to go back. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they make sense. Hmm. That doesn't have a material component. Are you shitting me? Right? <laughs> okay. Alright, so DC 16. Wisdom save. Oof. Uh, ouch. Owie. Okay, so he takes 25. Ah! And then the other two only take half. And I'm going to leave. Okie dokie. So you have what? Ten? Five movement left? How much? Uh, I think if you said that was 25. Yeah, I've got five. I'm going back up. up this. Okay. The guardians. They are going to. Uh, he'll go right there. And they are both going to chop away at Tapio and Roven. Tapio! Wow. Uh, yeah, take it all. 5, 9, 13, 22. 22 total, Ro or Tapio. And then Roven. 17? 17 for 8. Fuck bar. Um, dodge, because I can't. You don't want to move down? Because if you walk downstairs, you can see. Isn't Pickles blocking the stairs? No, he walked back upstairs. Oh, no. oh I uh... see, because he's standing on the stairs. No, you can 5, 10, 15. 15 movement would get you there. Right, and then I'll stay here and I'll guiding bolt the big flaming thing? Or... The Azer. Guiding bolt away. Oh my god. I think it's the first time this entire campaign you've hit something with a guiding bolt. First time I've hit anything with this spell. Well, I hope you feel good about it because that will actually kill the Azer. Yay! I mean, yay. <laughs> Emma? Okay, Emma is going to 
go down the stairs. Uh, just attack the guy. It's going to be 25 to get to the first guy, right? Uh huh. She'll just go here and try and attack this guy. And miss all three, I'm sure. Ten, eleven, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Miss, miss, miss. Okay. Roven! Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. No, never mind. Okay, Roven! on fire. Yeah. Okay, it's just like a D6 fire, right? Oh, poop. Eternal Flame Guardian. Yeah, D6 fire. That's it. Wait a sec. Uh, Finn? What the heck? Mm, I'll go downstairs. 5, 10, 15, 20 to here. Oh boy. Haha, -ha, now you're engaged. <laughs> eh, not for so long. <laughs> then I will use the dagger I found to attack the the guy. That is a miss. You missed. Okay. And I'll make a offhand attack with my book. What? <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> don't think that's legit. Don't do that. <laughs> as an yeah. improvised weapon, I don't think that counts as a light uh, light it's weapon. Okay, I, I missed anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he just swings up. You know, I'll still let you do it, but uh, you you <laughs> swing wildly with the book, and he raises his sword to block it and cuts it in half. <laughs> <laughs> now you're down another book. Uh, <laughs> Tapio. I'm going to hit this one again. Oh, that's a good hit. And that's all. Godfrey? Uh, I'll move up and... Uh... Swing at this here. Uh, that's a miss. Yep. Uh, I'll use my war priest. Uh, that's a bonus action, right? So I'll just use. Yes. Swing it Do you still have charges right. left after the last fight? Yep, I still have one more. Might okay. as well. The last one. All right, that's a hit for four. Four. Okay. Pikmin? Uh, I'll walk downstairs a little bit. You cannot. Uh, all of the all the spaces are occupied. Can I technically see? Yes, I can't. No. you can see the one guy here. I know you didn't yeah, see I'm where he's going. Yep. Uh, hit, hit for 13. And then the guardians, both of them still up, are going to start swinging for the fences, attacking uh, Emma. Yeah. And Rovin. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm still up. Surprise me. What? <laughs> uh, then the other one's going to attack Tapio and miss twice. And then Folkfar. Folkfar's going to move around the entire fight and go to here. And he's going to stand in front of the guy and try wait, and kick wait, him wait, in wait, the groin. Wait, wait, wait. 5, five 10, 15, 25. 5, 10, 15, 25, 30. Yeah, you would have had to walk past this guy. 
Oh, actually, you would have walked past him twice. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Attack of opportunity. Oh, that's the wrong sheet. You get out of here. Opportunity attack. Yeah. Oh, okay. Try to kick the guy in the groin. Go ahead. Oh, oh man. That's it, was... it. That's all he's got. He's got a shield and a leg. And the... <laughs> all right, Emma. She'll just try attack this guy again. Yep. Hit, uh, miss, and mids. No, that's 17, right? Yes. Yep, all right, uh, two hits. Four, two. two. <laughs> if I had a key point, it would at least be useful. Death save, two. What did it say? Hit when it did additional fire damage, wouldn't that have been a fail? That's one strike, though. Oh. It's not two separate sources. Um, Finn? Dagger to the guy. Ooh, good hit. Oh, and here it comes. Sneak attack. Oh, yeah. And then I'll move to here. Here, disengage, and go to here. And that's it. Top you. I will use poison spec A on that one above me. Con save fails and dies. Finish? Brother Godfrey. Long sword. Hit. Uh, hit. Hit. For four. Then I'll do a healing word on. He's uh, two down, right? One. He's got one what? fail. <laughs> Eh, not risking it. Oh wait, does uh does Tapio still have berries? No, he, he gave them all out. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, You're taking too long, Pikmin. Uh, can I see the guy technically? Uh, no. the The guy that you could see is the one that has been killed. Uh, can I? Uh, there's uh, ugh, words. Is the waste still blocked? No, because here you can walk there, and then you can see him there off to the right of the stairwell. Oh, in melee range. Yep. Bummer. I mean, I guess you could keep walking, right? And <laughs> get out of uh, melee range. Um, did I mean... will keep walking after that. Oh. And, well, you have advantage, but it doesn't matter because he's dead. Oh, okay. Okay. So now where you're standing, right? You guys can see the room you're currently in. And then the stairs continue down one more level. Save Roven. <laughs> uh, he did. He did healing word right there for five, on Roven. Then I'll use my very very last healing thing. Just last. <laughs> After this is all. Is that one more prayer? Yep. Okay. Uh, rolling it. Now. Oh, that what? So yes. five, five for wow. Five for Roven, fourteen for everyone. Going out with the bang. Okay. And looking down the stairs, you can see the front door. We want to try and go stealthily down there as well. Can I pick up the Aces Warhammer first? Yes. The uh, looting these corpses for equipment. The uh, Azer has a warhammer, and then there's two more guards here with long swords and and heavy crossbows and bolts. It's not flaming now that the Azer's dead. Oh. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna. Can I hear anything coming from the lower floor? Perception check. Nope. 
Seems <laughs> perfectly safe. Is that a, you say light crossbows? Heavy crossbows. Oh, can I strip one of the guys down for leather or hammer too? Um, yeah, they are humans. Actually, it's not leather armor. They are wearing a breastplate. Which is, I think, medium armor? Yeah, medium. Well, I'm taking it. <laughs> Flipper's like, yes! <laughs> You can't deal with a longsword, can you? No. Oh, man, you did the same thing. Dang it. Break it in half for a short sword? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that'll work. Okay, are we going down? Yeah, sure we are. Yes. Take it too long. Um. Oh, no! Wow, who saw that coming? Go ahead and uh, roll initiatives. What the heck are these things? Uh, these, as you walk down into the the bottom section, you can see that there's a, a massive pile of rubble along lining the back wall. Um, there's a cluster of small fire creatures burning the wooden beams along the northern wall, where you can see the tunnel leads downward. And these creatures, I believe I have a handout? They're they're only uh, they're only maybe two and a half feet, three feet tall at the most, and their bodies seem to be composed entirely of like molten like magma, um, and they look very impish, very devilish in, in nature. I okay. That one was a pet. Yeah, they do look they look dope as hell. Um, let's zoom. Ah, the roll twenty is being super laggy. Nope. Okay, zoom in. And then we're gonna go to this last room here. There we go. All is right with the world. Is everybody in the tracker? Do, 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 do. Yes. So, Tapio, you are first. I will poison spec hey, the one next to me. The one next to you failed. Uh, takes 14 poison and dies. However, when it dies, you see its body burst in a glorious explosion of flame. Uh, each creature within 10 feet. So that's like everybody? I think I'm not in there. I think I... I... I'm the only one not in it. Okay. Yeah, it's only... <laughs> uh, Folkvar... Well, I guess I should roll the damage, right? So we actually know how much it is. Six! Six damage. So Folkvar takes six. Tapio takes six. Uh, everybody else is taking three. Or not everybody. You know, everybody that fails. Where is Pikmin? Where is Pikmin? Let's roll. What does that have to be? Is he hiding under know, somebody? Just Me here. Pac-Man! So I'm at seven, so I, I guess I fail it? Oh, yep, that would be a fail. Where are you? I don't... Oh, he is hiding under the marker. Here, we'll put you there. You're not within ten feet. Are you? No. I think he put himself in the corner there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so Tapio, after that, what would you like to do? I'll just move to the corner and that's all. Can anybody not see down here? We're good. Yeah, because there should be, there should be light. Um Next is Finn. Okay. Uh Finn's going to move to here and throw a book. At the magming. <laughs> this one. Okay, uh, that actually will miss. Okay. 
one left. Robin? Twenty four is a hit for eleven that will kill the magman, which will cause the death burst again. Everybody within ten feet of this magman here in the corner, which is uh just two of them. Yeah, it's just Emma and, and Robin. Uh both pass and the roll here is coming. Eight damage. So you both take four. Are you finished, Robin? Yep. Godfrey. I'll uh, step in down here. And can I ready an attack and wait for Emma to st before I hit this guy to my right? Okay, you want to ready an attack. What's the trigger? Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, it has to be. A, I can't make it an and or, right? No. It has I'll to wait be for Emma to step. I'll wait if Emma disengages. If not, then I guess I pass it. So if Emma walks away, you'll attack the man. Yeah. And, and then if she moves out of the. How is Emma gonna know to walk away? Oh, I was already. Playing. Hey, uh, you it. better step back. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. That's not very... Come on. You're in the middle of combat. Emma is on the <laughs> brink of death. You're trying to protect her with feeling, man. Come on. <laughs> Don't worry. That's, that's quite already the plan. Quite <laughs> you, you have to tell her. You have to tell her. She doesn't understand. Tell her like your mother. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> Fuck where? Ah. Ball. Ooh. It anyway. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yep, that's a dead magman. And uh, <laughs> everyone in 10 feet, yeah. that's you, 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 you. Yep, so these four. Pass, pass, Pikmin fails. Uh, it is seven damage, so s seven to Pikmin and three to the other ones. I live! <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> Not for long. Uh, Emma, what would you like to do in your turn? <laughs> Disengage. And, uh, yeah, just back. Can I go back up the stairs, even? I, there's no need. I mean, you could if you really want to. No. Here. Oh. No, I'll stay there. I'll, oh, you I'll son of a... I already moved you! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, and, and I get in that one. <laughs> oh, rip. Uh, disadvantage on your next attack against any target. Pikmin. Pick uh, one to each. Uh, yep, and that kills both of the magmans. So actually, <laughs> Godfrey, you need to make two saves. Uh, Folkvar makes one. Rovin makes one. So Folkvar passed. Godfrey passed and failed. failed. Rovin, where's your save? Rovin f passed. Okay. So here's the first. Here's the second. First is the one highest up. So nine. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Folkvar and Godfrey take four from that. And then the eight is the one on the bottom. Uh, Rovin take four. Godfrey take the full eight. Got it. Okay, but then after that... All of the magmans are clear. And now standing in this room, there are three things of note. There is a chest. There is the tunnel behind you. And it looks like a massive stone was moved out of way to reveal this tunnel. And the tunnel goes down an, an innumerable 
distance. It's impossible to tell how far. And then there is the door. The door is obviously the main door to the tower that will lead outside. I want to go down the tunnel. I want to check the chest. <laughs> The chest is trying to move. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we find some way to rest, and then we keep going with this. Yeah. Wait, what did you just say? <laughs> did you say open, open the chest, or you drag it with us and just run? Okay, in the chest, you find uh, a mace, a rod. And a cloak. And I can't for the life of me remember what Ozzy picked for his item. There's a necklace. The tome. Uh, oh, uh, Ozzy took the tome of uh, whatever. Are you sure? Tome. Okay. So that's what you find. A book, a necklace, a cloak, a rod, and a mace. This is all oh, what did you, what did you take? Oh, and a, a rapier. There we go. Everything is in the box. You guys all know what it is. These are the uh, rewards from the, the Tomb of Annihilation game. So everybody gets the thing that they picked. Go ahead, pick it up. Well, Falkvar surprisingly steps forward and takes the necklace. Uh, I feel like an idiot. Why? I've had, extra, I've had extra attack this whole game from leveling up. And I yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. Uh... <laughs> It's just because you were panicked. <laughs> is there a bunch of gold in there? Uh, there is actually, but I don't remember which one of you were on the winning team. It was Pickles and Roven, and that was it, right? And Folkvar. You what? Folk... I was there, but I was dead. Yeah, I was there in spirit. It doesn't matter. You those were you on team one or two? Team one. No. I... Then you won. You guys raised the most money for charity. So yeah, folk bar, there's a thousand gold in there for two. For you as well. Ooh. Which is good because right now you guys are broke. <laughs> stupid <See ya> nerd. <laughs> stupid <laughs> cult to kind of stuff. <laughs> I, have a, I have a question. No. Oh. What's your question? Can I do wield a rapier and a chair leg? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> Um, is a, well, a chair leg would be comparable to a club. Is a club a, a weapon that you would be allowed to dual wield? I don't think so. Because in order to dual wield, doesn't it have to be light or finesse? Well, I, I think I, there's a feat that says, like... Yeah, but you don't have that feat. I know what I'm going to get that feat. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now that the chest of all those wonderful items have been found, um, the tunnel of the door. The door. Here we go, the door. Wait, wait, do we have any idea where we are? No. You're opening the door and looking outside, creaking it, because, you know, you don't want to just rush out there. You're still at the sacred uh, moon tower. You're in the exact same place you were before. What? Thank God. <laughs> Are there people out there? Yeah, uh, I the you creak the door open and look outside, and no. The way is clear. Oh. I w let's go down this tunnel. No! <laughs> let's go back to, to town. <laughs> we need to ha rest, not to, to keep fighting. We, we do this every in. time. Polkvar starts walking down the I grab uh, Fogbar by the neck and push him down the, the way out. Uh, don't, don't you think there'll be people on Red March? They'll know that we're gonna go there. I mean, I'm not leaving until I try and find the rest of my stuff. They took something from me and I'm gonna get it back or I'm gonna carve it out of their stuff. <laughs> <laughs> We like I, the, you know, they don't have your stuff. It, it was clearly destroyed on the ground in front of you. Uh, I thought you said there might be a chance. So, like the portal hole's gone, the cloak is gone. Yep, it's all ripped up, destroyed, gone, Marino. Yeah, then I gotta kill them all. all 
Uh, that was clearly part of the clause. Uh, was article 2 in the clause, I believe. So, <laughs> Folkfar agrees with this. Listen, we are no... Like, I agree, I would want to kill them too. We are no fit... Like, no in shape to fight. No, let's take a... Sh let's find somewhere safe to rest, and then let's get back to it. Like a tunnel, maybe? <laughs> like oh, a I tunnel! Like a tunnel! <laughs> Uh, as you guys are having this conversation, hold on. As you guys are having this conversation, there is a bright light moving its way up the tunnel. As you, as you turn and look, you see the familiar shape of the fire elemental unleashed during the Wicker Man ceremony. Uh, time to go. I'm 550. <laughs> you have to attune to the mountebank club. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I heard like five different people. I'm gone. I'm running. Right? Is that the plan? I throw a bead. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, I throw a bead. At. Okay. Oh, the the you... the bead expands into a roaring fireball. And hits the fire elemental and makes it bigger? Yes. You. Then I run away. <laughs> you run away! Oh my god. Just run. I'm... <laughs> okay, so the party runs for their life. And they manage to escape. Where are you going? Back to, to home. I'm going back out out the way. Did okay. we come here for the delegation, though? Me? No, like, we. the whole reason we came here is because we got a tip that there was delegation members here that we came to see. That they might have been taken there. You are right. Let's go Me? in some nearby woods. Let's take a good rest, and then let's go kill some people. He's trying to get you killed. <laughs> I, I, I agree with the president, though. We should be going about we should go rest in the woods or something. I have a dagger and nothing else. I can't fight with it with, with this. So you guys are crazy. So then, where would you like to go? Maybe if we go to Red Larch, we could buy some items. I don't. Uh, I, I thought you guys were already at Red Larch. It's fine. We're just well, we're, we're, we're here now. now. Let's... I'm gonna go collapse at the bar. Yeah, let's just rest, find some supplies, and then we go back. There's no point in r rushing things. It will just get us killed. So... <clears throat> Since we're in Red Latch, Daddy, where's the... um? the next place we can board or board board as in sleep yeah uh you don't know there's no inn there you don't there there's no other place where you could you could stay so you i'll ask you the same question where do you think you can go for a rest yeah, the guy at the end yeah, yeah, yeah we could rest in his place how much is our house <laughs> uh, realistically, probably less than a thousand gold. Okay. Falkfar's gonna buy a house. Since we never bloody leave Red Larch, Falkfar's gonna buy a house. Actually, he's gonna buy a farm. There you go. <laughs> yes, then I can put um, your yeah, farm out there. That's a good question. D&D &D 5e, how much does a home cost? No, 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 no. Little, little lifestyle accessories provide you a simple way to cost for the count of living and fantasy. Well, they cover your accommodation, food, drink, all your necessities. Um, yeah, it would just be lifestyle expense. Oh, so let's see. If we're going to buy a modest home, what what is a modest lifestyle? Is it a gold a day? Folk file wants to buy this farm. 
let's just let's just call it an even an even an even uh three fifty three hundred and fifty gold will buy you a home. Then I bought a home for us all to live in. <laughs> good <laughs> uh tapio wouldn't i mean f for finding a new uh druidic focus wouldn't it just be like going and finding a stick and performing some kind of uh um ritual to to consecrate it right that's the way i kind of see it or i are or if uh that doesn't appease you i do believe in adventuring gear you can purchase a druidic focus yeah let's go with that because that's what's actually in the rule book <laughs> Um, what, is what is the weapon store? Well, that would be Iron Heads. <laughs> Which he's not selling anything. Uh, well, he wasn't the last time you were here. Nick, man, how... come with me to a store or someone. I don't want to. Uh, how go to. Are you all. To... That, uh, Mr. Maskless? Much more Everyone's looking at me. I, don't like it. I mean, you do kind of stand out. You're like jet black skin. Because <laughs> 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 See, okay. now I'm thinking about this. What would it be to hire farmhand? Uh, that would be hirelings. You pay uh, cost per day. So then it's like, just how long do you want to pay them for? Farming seasons. There you go. <laughs> First we have an accountant. Now we have a uh, farmhand. Farmer. <laughs> um, like a job from an alternate universe, you never know what he's going to be. <laughs> Alright, who said they were going to Iron Heads? Me. Me. But first, I'm going to, to dispense the guards and the hireling I hired last time because I don't have money to pay them <laughs> and if if they survived because I don't know if they survived the... uh, actually asking around town about the hirelings and your goat there is a uh, oh look there they are they're in town no, get out of here you're not here um, <laughs> you know everywhere you ask it seems they never returned no! <laughs> no! I'm afraid! <laughs> Not my donkey! <laughs> no! I have a question. Do I still have my, like, fancy clothes with my hood and stuff? Uh, well, they are strictly less fancy. Because, uh, they've been cut and, and stabbed and burned and... So my hood doesn't really work anymore. Right. Sure. <laughs> All right, so was it Rovin and Finn and Finn going to Ironheads? All right, and what are we going to? Well, I guess we'll figure that out. So walking up, you hear uh, for the first time since the ordeal at uh, at the Scarlet Moon Hall, um, a sound. It's very pleasant and lifts your heart. A steady beat of a hammer on a forge. As Ironhead appears to be back to work. Hello, Ironhead. Mmm, tiny mouse person. Well, I see everything is back to normal. <laughs> yes, uh, Longbeard, help get money or. Working again, and he smashes the anvil one one good time just to uh, kind of accentuate his point. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Uh, I think uh, uh, my friend here needs uh, something. Um, can I have a a rapier? Mm hmm, rapier. Yes, Ironhead can make makes best. Here, you have to talk to man inside. He handles books now. Oh, okay. And, uh... 
<laughs> Isn't it um... Embrick? Yes, Embrick is uh, inside, and he's you know kind of sitting at a counter, writing notes in a ledger. Um, hey Embrick, I need to buy uh, rapier. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Just give me a second. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, Bracker takes out from his satchel a uh, large uh, bottle of whiskey. Uh, he, he hasn't looked up yet. He looks up at Roven Massless. Clan Garen's ass. <laughs> you look like crap. Look, Roven kind of hides his face, trying to. Oh, hello, Amber. Hey, Finn, what do you want? Uh, nah, for now, nothing. Uh, just uh, a company. Uh, I made you something special. Uh, for me? Yeah, for you. Uh, what is it? Umbrick is going to take out a large red robe uh, and toss it at Finn. It is a robe of useful items that he has created. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I left something to wear. Thank, what, thank you. What is the price on a rapier again? 75. I relay that information to Roven. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this all happens in, like, the character. Like, like Embrick leans down to Finn. Hey, what's a rapier cost? 25 gold. Hey, it's 25 gold, kid. <laughs> I'll, um, hand him the rapier. Or the, uh, uh money. <laughs> Uh, Umbrek turns around, he puts it in the small little box. So, tell me, what have you guys been up to? Almost dying. To fire cultists. Cult cultist. I thought we were going after stone cultists. Yeah, now fire cultists, then before air cultists, and water cultists. So, a lot of cultists. I'm getting tired. Where's all your stuff? Didn't you have like a cool bow? <sighs> yes, but they they broke everything. Uh, we fought some fire elemental, and we... We we got unconscious, and then when we wake up, woke up, uh, we were tied up without anything, and we had to fight out to survive. Ironhead comes bursting in. What? Firemen hurt tiny mouse? <sighs> yes, Ironhead, but but uh, I'm fine now. The, there's no need to... to... Mm. It was bad. Very bad. So what, are you guys like poor again? Yes, uh, we are poor. <laughs> uh, uh, when I met you, weren't you a little poor? Yeah, uh, a little bit. Not too much, but... Now we're... I totally broke. Sounds like you guys could do with some help. Tell you what, this place is pretty set up. How about I come and uh, help look after you guys for a while? Well, that, that would be... helpful. It would help a lot. If you could do that, it would be... I would be... Really thankful. Where are we staying since the imp burned down? Uh, Ironhead friends, you sleep here and forge with me. And he kind of beats on his chest. 
Oh, at the least, at least uh, the the forge is, is warm, so uh, I would accept that. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, help Ironhead get shop working good and <laughs> sleep here free. Thank you, I'll Ironhead. Don't call us the farm hand round to tell everybody where the house is. <laughs> Send a farm hand round. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Folklore finds a little bit of money. He's like, I'm gonna buy a house. I'm gonna buy servants. I'm gonna buy. <laughs> I'm gonna buy seed and water and. <laughs> I'm gonna run this town as a farmer. All right. So. Uh, Embrick, uh, I believe you you don't have a studded leather armor there, uh, here on the, this shop. E entertain me, Daddy, do I? I know. Remember, Ironhead doesn't sell leather goods. Only no. fine metal wares. Um, but he can you... stud leather for you. <laughs> hmm. Then I will go kill a cow. And fight some leather. What? <laughs> no, give me that! And he points to the leather you're wearing. And I, am I you, uh, wearing any leather? <laughs> I don't, is it on your sheet? I don't think. I have a studio leather armor, but it's not equipped. No, oh, yeah, you still have it. Okay, so I just need to equip it? Yep. Oh, then, then, then that's fine. I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need it. It was a mistake. Yes. I will. I will gladly accept the the, uh, the offer to stay here. Ironhead. Roven, do you need anything else from Ironhead? Okay. Well, he he stares at you for a minute, and he's like, "I don't know him, friend." Uh, uh, yes, you remember the guy with the mask? Scary mask! Uh, yes, uh, he's that guy. He he lowers his, you know, t his uh, nine foot height until he's looking down at you at eye level. Like, he's almost bent over in half. He's staring at you in your eyes. He's like, you're not scary. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I like you better with no mask. Roven, after hearing that, just completely walks out. He just doesn't want to hear. Wait, friend. That's okay, Arrowhead. <laughs> yeah. He, but he pulls out like a uh, like a helmet that has like a heavy visor that comes down. He's like, I had another mask. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> <laughs> all right oh wow and he just ignored that as well yes he did he just walked away <laughs> well i guess he didn't hear it right because he had already stormed out uh what's everybody else doing in town what about you uh pikmin oh i'm passed out at the farm yeah, so everybody else is at the farm um Recuperating, drinking. Yeah, Emma's gonna take four long rests in a row. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> no, mechanically, you take one. <laughs> but everybody can take a long rest. You can finally recover your wounds, spells, abilities, blah 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 blah. And I think maybe that's a good place to end today, um, because it is t ten after, and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, um, thanks everybody for coming and hanging out. Appreciate you being here. If you I enjoyed the stream, yes, I should do that, huh? Because they, you guys, did do a lot of things. And you always forget before you finish. I, I do, I do every time. Uh, you do not get XP for Elazar because he escaped. I guess I, should, I could show you the Elazar handout I've had on my screen this whole time. I meant to show it to you earlier, but I forgot. Of the burning man. He is in front of the burning man. 
Uh, that's some pretty cool artwork. I know. Well, that's. I think that's mainly why I like to show the handouts, just because it gives you like a good idea of what the creature looks like. But then some of the artwork's just really cool, and I fucking paid for it, so I want to share it. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, Eternal Flame Guardians. There were four of those, so we will do that, and then Flame Priest. There was one of those, and then. There was, where are my magmans? Nope, I closed their sheet like a smart guy. Magm. Yep, and there were five of those. Meaning? Slash R. And one Aza, right? Oh, yes, and I didn't count the, god dang it. So we're all attuned to our thing after our after rest. the long rest. Yes. Awesome. Uh, fifty. So three, four, five. Oh, divided by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Soon to be eight. Uh, everybody gets four hundred and ninety-two experience each. Never gonna level up. Never gonna level up. Okay, now, thank you for coming and hanging out. If you enjoyed the stream, make sure you hit that follow button. If you haven't already, check out the schedule underneath the stream so you can see all the days that we play on this channel. And hopefully, uh, you come back and join us tomorrow at 8 for Sashk and the Thick Boys as they wrap up the Forge of Fury. Thank you, everybody, for being here, and I will see you next time.